So I've been doing video calls with my mom and my sister first thing in the morning and in the afternoon and before I go to bed. And she's becoming more and more less, you know, unresponsive. Sometime during the night last night, she took a turn. Her vitals are right now very unstable. Her heart rate is goes to over a hundred. Um, her oxygen is dropped, fluctuates between sixty and I guess eighty something maybe. Um, she's was coughing last night. My sister said. And during the video call this morning, I could hear the, I could hear some, you know, the fluid. Now, my mom sn does snore n normally. I mean, I listen to it lots. Um, but this snore, but what I'm hearing this morning is like a combination of her. The weird thing is, is the snoring's not as loud because there's fluid and she can't get enough oxygen and she can't clear the fluid and um, she did eat a little last night but something something happened last night I think um, my mom's been ready to go. She's been ready to go. <clears throat> and, um... I think her body's just catching up with her, with her, her mind, her decision to go. So, this morning, you know, on the video call, me and my sister both, uh, my sister's there. I did something that I hadn't done yet on these calls. And I told her that it was okay to go when she needs to. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to catch that glare on my glasses with y'all. Maybe let me take them off. I can't see y'all, but at least you can see me. Um... I told her that it was okay to go, not, not to hang hang on because of us. And my sister told her pretty much the same thing. You know, she can go up there and see Daddy and my stepdad, and you know, she got people waiting for her. Her mom's up there. Um, we just don't want her to be. You know, hurting or she doesn't seem to be in pain. We don't know for sure, but we don't. I don't think she's in any pain. I know that that the fluid and that can be very uncomfortable. You know, especially if you can't clear it out. Um, but I'm not gonna play guessing games with what's happening or what's going on. It's no point in doing that. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. So the doctor's coming in today and um, are going to my mom's, the hospice doctor, and he'll examine her and stuff. And I, I guess at that point he'll give us a time frame of when he expects her to go. And then I'll, I have to make my decision on going up there. Um, and I will have to close daycare. Sorry, my eyes were starting to hurt. And I'll have to close daycare. Um, for, you know, probably a couple of days at the very least. And then I'll come back and keep working and, you know, we'll plan her memorial and stuff. <sighs> I 
I know I can't break down and cry right now because the daycare kids are going to be here soon. Um, but, uh, for the most part, for the most part, I'm going to be okay, I think. <laughs> because I know my mom wants to go. My mom, my mom's wanted to go since this whole thing started. She really has. <clears throat> um, boy, somebody remind me to get the anti-glare on my next pair of glasses. It's irritating me. Anyways, um, she's wanted to go since this all started. So... Turn the screen off. That helps a lot. <laughs> and uh, because of that, that that does bring some peace, you know, some comfort, knowing that she's she's ready to go. You know, and I did pray last night or yesterday to give her peace and not, not to let her suffer. And maybe that's when the turn took place. You know, we don't know why these things happen. You know, my mom's 70, so it's not like she lived a short life. You know, and even, even she said that. She she lived, you know, 70. She's She says she's had a, uh, you know, she's had a life. And and she knows she's saved, so... Anyways, that's the update on my mom, and I, I fear that the next video I make about her will be very different. Pray for strength for our family, for me and my sisters. And, uh, Pray for a peaceful passing for my mom. If God is not going to heal her, then pray for a peaceful passing. <sighs>